It's no secret that I'm from New Zealand, and while we have a long history of achievements, one of the things I'm most proud of is the Māori Battalion. Following in the footsteps of the Māori Pioneer Battalion that was active during the Great War, the Māori Battalion, or as they were officially designated, the 28th Battalion, was an infantry group that served during the Second World War. It was formed following pressure on the Labour government from some Māori members of Parliament and Māori organisations throughout the country which wanted to see a full Māori unit raised for service overseas. Māori wanted the formation of a distinct military unit in order to raise their profile and to serve alongside their compatriots as subjects of the British Empire. The battalion was raised in 1940 and fought during the Greek, North African and Italian campaigns, earning a formidable reputation as a fighting force, which both Allied and German commanders acknowledged. It became the most decorated New Zealand battalion during the war. Following the end of the war, the battalion contributed a contingent of personnel to serve in Japan as part of the British Commonwealth Occupation Force before being disbanded in January 1946. Why was this group of around 900 men seen as so formidable? Well, here are some excerpts from the citation for a Distinguished Conduct Medal awarded to Lance Sergeant Hane Manahi for his actions in North Africa. On the night of the 19th to the 20th of April 1943, during the attack upon the Tokruna feature, Tunisia, Lance Sergeant Manahi was in command of a section. The objective of his platoon was the Pinnacle, a platform of rock right on top of the feature. By morning, the platoon was reduced in strength to 10 soldiers by heavy mortar and small arms fire, and they were pinned to the ground a short way up the feature. The platoon continued towards their objective, Lance Sergeant Manahi leading a party of three up the western side. During this advance, they encountered heavy machine gun fire from posts on the slope and extensive sniping from the enemy actually on the pinnacle. In order to reach their objective, he and his party had to climb some 500 feet under heavy fire, the last 50 feet being almost sheer. He personally led the party after silencing several machine gun posts, and by climbing hand over fist, they eventually reached the pinnacle. After a brief fight, some 60 enemies, including an artillery observation officer, surrendered. They were then joined by the remainder of the platoon, and the pinnacle was captured. This courageous action undoubtedly led to the ultimate collapse of the enemy defence and the capture of the whole Tukruna feature, with over 300 prisoners, two 25-pounder guns, several mortars, and 72 machine guns. On the night of the 21st to the 22nd of April, Lance Sergeant Manahi remained on the feature, assisting in the evacuation of the dead and wounded, and refused to return to his battalion until his task was completed. During that time, the area was being heavily and continually shelled. Throughout the action, Lance Sergeant Manahi showed the highest qualities of an infantry soldier. He made a supreme contribution to the capture and holding of a feature vital to the success of the operation. The short version of that is that Lance Sergeant Manahi was a certified badass, and this is just one story from a couple of days in action. It wasn't an isolated event either, with the Māori Battalion by the war's end becoming the most decorated New Zealand battalion during the war. In addition to the Victoria Cross awarded to 2nd Lieutenant Moana Nui Akiwa Narimu, the group also received seven distinguished service orders, one member of the Order of the British Empire, 21 military crosses and three bars, 13 distinguished conduct medals, 51 military medals, one British Empire medal, and one US Silver Star. These men and the entire battalion most certainly lived up to their motto, Ake Ake Kia Kaha E, Upwards, Upwards, Be Strong. Ah.
che è potente, a due, a che a che è cavale, march, march, march to the enemy, and we'll fight, fight to the end, for God, for King and for country, a due, a che a che è cavale,